interaction right here. Oh, what's up guys, welcome back to another episode guys I know I've been going for two days, so I know it's crazy But I'm trying to post every single day guys But I do have an excuse, I'm not even gonna lie I'm not supposed to have any excuses But it was my birthday today And then Saturday I did have to celebrate guys So I wasn't able to film Saturday's episode Or today's episode Well, I'm filming this on a Monday, right? So yeah, Sunday was supposed to be upload And Monday was supposed to upload But guys, we are gonna be back full force in this thing guys i'm not even gonna lie and as y'all can see behind me what has happened there we have had like a hurricane almost like type of things i'm not even sure if it's broke honestly hopefully it's not broke okay i don't think it's broke but we're gonna try to get this thing back up and uh yeah it has water in it guys it's crazy but yeah um uh, we had a bad thunderstorm and it just fell over and then it got filled up with rain so it should be okay, but I want to update you guys with everything here, and then we're gonna go get Athena, my baby ball python. So let's go. All right, you guys. So this right here is the pool pond, and as y'all can see, what we have this thing up for almost a week now. So the water is crystal, crystal clear, but as y'all can see, it is algae all around. So what we're gonna have to do is probably get some algae eaters, like you guys have mentioned in the comments down below. Is that uh, we need some plecos. So that's something that we definitely have to get in the future. Um, this filter is really really loud but we have some turtles in here and uh, they are doing amazing all right you guys and over here y'all may or may not know who's in here but we got snapple my snap turtle y'all can kind of see her show down there but yeah she is loving it and as y'all can see she ate all the plants and yes snapping turtles are partially uh vegetarians they do love vegetable well not vegetables but their plants all their greens they will eat it so yeah you guys i mean that's just a little update on this side of everything. This is basically where we have all of the uh, aquatic animals like turtles, frogs, uh, fish, all types of stuff like that. So now we're walking over here to more of my land animals. All right, you guys, I'm right next to this cage. I'm not sure where my boy's at, but he's probably hiding because it is getting a little dark out. But if I walk in here, we're in Apollo's enclosure. If y'all do not know who Apollo is, this is my male Asian water monitor. Um, he is somewhere in here. He likes to hide up in here. I bet y'all 100% this is where he's at. Oh wait, what's this? Oh, this is an ear wig. Alright, I bet y'all 100% he's right in here. There he is. Look at him with his heating pad. What's good, Paulo? What's up? Same something the camera. There you go, buddy. There you go, move out. Don't close it. Look, I need you to move. Move. Don't try to bite me, bro. Look, it's me. See? Hey. See you making up a viewer? Good boy. There you go. Oh, dive in the water. Okay. All right. And let's move this like, right there. And then we close it right back down. Just like that. And uh, yeah, that's a puddle by Mel A. More water. Yeah, you guys, his enclosure is actually pretty big. I did just add this little shelf over here for him as well because he does have a bunch of basking spots. And I just wanted this to be added as well so he can come up here and just bask in the morning because it kind of just kind of shuts off like right here. So just, just a little bit of sunlight comes right here in the morning that he can kind of sit up and bask on. Yeah, you guys, it's been getting a little bit chilly. I'm not even gonna lie. I think last night we got into like the 70s or something. Something like really, really low. It was like 72 in the morning. And uh, I think that's what the lowest was. But yeah, I mean, it's fine though. My boy, he's doing great. And uh, we're gonna have to kind of winterize this enclosure in a few more weeks, probably about three or four more weeks. By the time we hit October, honestly, that's when we're gonna really do a winterize these enclosures. <laughs> All right, you guys, and just like that, we got the tent back up, as you can see, walking here. And yeah, it is all the way back up all around. Honestly, a little bit of it broke. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, but we should be all right. Let me pull this down just a little bit so it can look a little nicer. But yeah, this part right here did break a little bit, but we should be all good. All right, and now without further ado, let's go in inside the mini zoo. Once was a mini zoo and go get Athena, my baby ball python. All right, you guys, we are in the mini zoo and y'all can probably barely see me, but we are here for one thing, one thing only, and we're getting Athena, my ball python. All right, y'all. So I just put Athena, our baby ball python, in an outdoor enclosure. 
honestly, right now, she has the same closure. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. But I'm gonna basically show y'all up there, y'all on her, and uh, I think I'm gonna feed her again tonight. Okay, can y'all see Adina? Look at that. <laughs> She's so, so cute. But I do need to feed her again tonight, and uh, I think I gotta start upscaling her food a little bit because she is getting a little bit bigger, and I don't want her to get skinny. But you can see this, my baby. Little baby ball python. Look at her. Y'all can see the patterns on her. She's so cool. But yeah, uh, she definitely is kind of, she's a good weight, but she can be a little bit bigger than that. Boom, it just like that, guys. Let me get y'all over the above tank view real quick. Let me show y'all. We got some sticks over here. We got her water dish back there. We got a slate so she can just warm up right here. And then we got her hide back there. And then she has a little bit of climbing room and stuff right there. So this is Athena's new enclosure. Um, it's not perfect. It's not the best thing that she can obviously have, but it is better than what most people do give these ball pythons. So that's Athena. You ready to go in your enclosure, girl? Yeah. All right, here we go, Athena. There you go. There you go right there, girl. And there you go. Slither around, do her little thing, and then we're gonna put the lid on. All right, it's just like that. We got the lid on for her. I'm actually gonna add a little rock on top just so she can't push her way out. Cause y'all see how easy you just push it up. So yeah. Athena, you like your new home? She's probably just sitting there like, bruh, I am not moving until you give me food. So we're, we're probably gonna have to give her some food tomorrow. But yeah, you guys, I don't wanna give her food today because I just did move her whole enclosure. She's probably gonna be a little bit stressed out. So I'm gonna wait until tomorrow night to feed her. She loves to get fed at night. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, you guys, so before we end today's episode, we got a Bible verse for you guys. As you can see, y'all see the theme of that? It's kind of matching the theme of over here. So, like, look at her. Matching the same theme. Am I wrong? But yeah, you guys, today we're reading 1 Corinthians chapter uh, 10 through verse 13. Y'all right? You may often want to do wrong things. The things that are difficult for you are difficult for other people too. Remember that God is always here, always, always there to help you. He will not let any bad thing be too difficult for you. He will help you to stand against it. When you want to do something wrong, God will make you strong in your spirit. He will show you a way out. So do not do anything wrong. So I hope you all absolutely enjoyed today's episode, guys. That bit, that Bible verse that I just gave you all, guys, I want to kind of explain it to you all a little bit. Um, basically, so, you know, when we feel temptation, like anything like, Okay, so let's like say you have a problem with cussing, right? And you like, man, like, you, you about to cuss, you know? And you just, you have a way out, but you think like, man, I'm around my friends, you know? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna let one out, man. It, it ain't gonna be, ain't gonna be nothing, right? But guys, God shows you a way that that's a sin. You know, you're not supposed to cuss, or say anything bad that's hurting somebody else. So he wants you, he'll show you a way out. He has like that right, that thing in the back of your voice is telling you, don't do it, you know? Guys, that is God telling you, don't do it. And the devil is in your other ear telling you, man, it's going to be one time. You're going to be all right. You know, just do it. And uh, you might follow either other side, but it's the right side to follow God. So I hope you absolutely enjoy. Y'all, boy, it's finally 17, y'all. So we going crazy on YouTube this year. I ain't even going to lie to y'all. I'm 17, y'all. I get my driver's license in a few more weeks. Hey, guys, I'm telling y'all right now, we going to lakes. We going to go do some tours. We're going like, when I say tours, like in my city, of course, um, we might even travel out of state later on in the year. It depends on how everything is going. But yeah, you guys, I got some big plans for y'all and I hope you absolutely enjoy and we're posting every single day. Guys, keep me to it. If I don't post every single day, y'all gotta spare my comments. Like I'm telling y'all, spare more. And uh, I hope y'all enjoy and I'll catch y'all in the next wild episode. Peace.